Focus towards the Lord Jesus. What kind of heart does the Lord desire? The other day we looked about we looked at the heart of praise. Tonight we are going to look at the heart of thanksgiving. A heart of gratitude. Heart of gratitude. Someone you walked here has been having a challenge with your heart. There is pain around your heart. Lift up your hands. Everyone throws in his hands. Father, we dedicate. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take authority over that heart condition. In the name of Jesus, Satan rebuke you. Infirmity will rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, the power of sickness be broken. Every complication in the heart. Everywhere. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare there shall not be any heart attack. There shall not be any heart failure. I speak no more function. I declare the creative power to flow through your heart. I speak restoration. I declare the God. Yes, I'm such a good yes. And I speak wholeness yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I declare the healing yes. of the Lord. Yes. Oh, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Yes. Someone appreciate yes. that. Yes. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 17. Yes. A heart of gratitude. Yes. Luke chapter 17 and verse 15. Before we close today, we shall pray for the children. And are going to school. But the Lord will go ahead of them. That the Lord shall provide for them. Luke chapter 17 and verse 15. None of them shall lack anything good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Luke chapter 17 we shall read from verse 15 now it happened as he went to Jerusalem this is Jesus he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee then as he entered a certain village there met him ten men who were lepers no Luke chapter 17. Verse 15. Verse 15. Uh, Which translation is that? <laughs> no, there's something wrong. Are we together with someone? Yeah. Luke chapter 17. Is this? Verse 11? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Verse 11. Verse 11. Sorry. Verse 11. Verse 11, begin from. Sorry about that. Verse 11, it was my fault. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourself to the priest. So it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Hallelujah. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned with a loud voice, glorified God, fell on his feet. 
Nothing is at his feet on the feet of Jesus. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Father, I praise the name of Jesus. That you will anoint your word. And give us understanding. Or to walk together. That there be illumination. That someone's life be transformed. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, yes, yes. Verse 17. Who knows about you? So Jesus answered and said, Where there are not ten clans, where are the nine? Where they are not found who return to give glory to God. Except this foreigner. And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. We are talking about a heart of thanks. Brothers and sisters, ingratitude grounds destiny. Ingratitude grounds destiny. God desires that we have a heart of thanksgiving. Unfortunately, in most of our churches nowadays, when they talk about thanksgiving, it many times means that you should prepare a special offering. It is not limited to that. And there is nothing wrong about thanksgiving or preparing an offering of thanksgiving. But tonight our emphasis is not on that. We are emphasizing a, th- a heart of gratitude. A heart of thanksgiving. Why do we give thanks? Number one, it is a good thing. It pleases God. It is a good thing. That is why Psalm 92 verses 1 it says it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name also. so it is a good thing to no, it is a good behavior it is a good habit to have a thankful heart towards the Lord and it is a good thing to have a thankful heart to the people that God has brought in your life to be a blessing to you it is a good thing to give thanks Number two, it is the will of God that we give thanks. It is the will of God. The Bible says in First Thessalonians, the Thessalonians. That word gives me trouble. Thessalonians. Verses 18. The Bible says, in everything, in everything, in thanks. Whether it is trouble, your life is in the hands of God. Your destiny is in the hands of God. That's why the Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of God. I shall fear no peace because your rod and your staff they comfort me. The Lord is with you even wherever you are. Whether you see as though you're sitting in your circumstances, in your situation, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. He sees what you're going through. He sees what is in your life. He looks at your circumstances. Even in the midst of your circumstances, you are not alone. Someone say, I am not alone. 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 I
Why you in trouble? Give thanks in poverty. Wealth. Give thanks in loneliness. Give thanks in the midst of rejection. Give thanks in everything. For this is the will of God. This is the will of God. In Christ Jesus. So number two. Why do we give thanks? Because it is the will of God. You want to know what the will of God is? Give thanks. Have a thankful heart. In all circumstances. You know things. Give thanks to the Lord. Someone lift up your hand. Why is it? Why do we give thanks? It is how we come into the presence of God. Don't bombard the Lord with your Christ. When you are under pressure, things are bad. You don't have to bombard the Lord. Ask your neighbor, say your neighbor, don't bombard the Lord. I know you come to pray. Ask your neighbor, say your neighbor, don't bombard the Lord. Have you had situations where there are people you take care of? No, no, no. You give them something, then the next time, they are not thanking you for what you are doing. They are asking for more. You know, number seven, two, two, seven, seven, eight, eight. You the one. But now you get up with women. This happens a lot with children. Many times they are overtaken by their needs and their emotions. Instead of for first thanking you for the things you've done for them, they just keep asking for more. But we come into the presence of God. We come into the presence of God. We come into the presence of God. But we come into the presence of God. 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 Enter into his gates with thanks. He did not open up with us, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him. We will open up his gates with thanks. How do we enter into the gates of thanksgiving? As you enter into a new month, as you walk through a new month, as you enter into the city, you say, Father, I thank you because I am entering into the city. Hallelujah. When you wake up in the morning, you say, Father, I thank you because this is the day that you have I will rejoice and be glad in that whether you are sick, whether you are not feeling well, whether you have come out of a terrible age, don't lift up your voice and say, I thank you, hallelujah, have a heart of thanksgiving, number four, it is an attitude of faith and warfare. Thanksgiving is an attitude of faith and warfare. No That's why Job said in chapter 13 and verse 15, Job said, though he slays me, yet I will trust him. Though he slays me, yet I will trust him. Your life is in the hand. Of the Lord, it doesn't matter what you're going through, you must have an attitude of thanksgiving. And in every situation, you should be able to say, Though he slays, yet I will trust him. He had lost everything, he had lost all his children. Children, he had lost all of them. He had lost all his sheep. He had lost all his donkeys. He had lost everything. The wife of Job kept on saying, Why don't you cast God and die? Because she felt it was too much. Even the friends of Job came around him and they were throwing condemnation. Brothers and sisters, what you are going through right now, or what you have gone through, is it as tough as that of Job? Job had lost everything. 
everything. I don't know what you have lost. And I know that it hurts to me. It hurts so much. It's not comfortable. Whatever you have lost, put your trust in it. Put your faith in it. I put my faith in the Lord. I put my faith in the Lord. I put my faith in the Lord. I put my Knowledge. Oh, you know, but it has to be a public. Now, you have to 
acknowledgement. Number two, it is a celebration of divine goodness. If God has been good to you. How many people has God been?
Hallelujah. Yes, come on. Thanksgiving is acknowledging the source of your providence. Amen. Thanksgiving is very, very important. Thanksgiving is acknowledging the source of your providence. How many people are breathing? without any trouble. I remember when we used to have COVID. I suffered wearing a mask. Oh, we give thanks to God. Because now our noses are free. There is a reason to give thanks. Why do you use your free object? You need to give thanks. So we shall be there are many things that we need to give thanks. Thank God for your help. Thank God for your strength. Thank God for appetite. Whether you are hungry, Appetite is the sign that you are healthy. How many people have ever given thanks for appetite? I don't know whether there is anyone here that has You can go through trouble and you will suffer. There can be food and there is no appetite. I want to remind you, have you ever fallen sick and they bring chicken? Build chicken. Maybe with some fries. But you have no appetite for it. Juice. Well blended juice. Never never can you say much? Maybe we can have an appetite. How many people feel like eating something? Never can you say much? Never can you say much? Acknowledge the source of the provider. Acknowledge the source of the provider. My battery is down. But acknowledge the source of the provider. If you do not give thanks, it means you've forgotten that everything that you have came through from somewhere and through somewhere. So always acknowledge the source of your providence. Number three, giving is a sign of humility. It is a sign of humility. It is a sign of humility. It is the humble who give thanks. It is the humble that are grateful. It is the humble that acknowledge the source of their blessing. Lastly, thanksgiving is acknowledging that your dependency is on the God Amen. as your source. You know, you know, you know self-sufficiency is a fruit of the fruit of good and evil. It's a fruit of the tree of good and evil. It's a fruit of the fallen nature. I want you to to say I will practice thanksgiving. thanksgiving. I will make thanksgiving my habits my habit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What are some of the reasons why people struggle? with thanksgiving the flesh and the human ego resists gratitude because the flesh will always crave for being praised it is a work of the flesh it is an attitude of the flesh. Never to acknowledge who your source is. 
But if you're a prayerful person, and you begin to pray, when you enter into the presence of God, and you feel the glory of God, thanksgiving becomes a promotion. Because you begin to acknowledge Him. You begin to acknowledge His presence. You begin to acknowledge His goodness. You acknowledge that which He is done. No give it to Jack. It's it isn't a privilege to be in his presence. Ah, then I'm gonna privilege. Who is man that you might who is man that you visit? Who is man that you visit? It is a sign what a of thanksgiving. It becomes real in the presence of God. Chief Kachadawa. Number two, why do people struggle with thanksgiving? Being overwhelmed or dwelling in past experiences. Tell your neighbor, Gabriel, now release the past. Let the past. It is past experiences that keep people from giving thanks, dwelling upon them, meditating, asking the wise, why did we do this? Why did she do this? Why did they do this? They meditate on that. That causes you to suck and sink into no longer no those they hinder you from receiving from because lack of thanksgiving hinders you from receiving from the Lord. How many people here want to receive? Develop a heart of thanksgiving. Peter told Jesus, Peter, we are Master, we have toiled all night. We have toiled all night. Can you imagine? Peter had not recognized. Peter was requesting him to cast his net into the deep for a cast. He was still remembering his trouble. He said, Master, we have toiled the whole Imagine the maker of all fish. The master of the sea. But Peter had not got that revelation. Brothers and sisters, lack of thanksgiving will keep you in the past. Peter was still in the past. Struggling with what had happened in the past. Weeping may endure for the night. Oh, but joy cometh yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Joy cometh in the morning. There is hope for you. Even in the midst of your hopelessness, there is hope for you. Because joy cometh in the morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Peter was struggling. Yeah. And he said, Put on this attitude. Take a game, Philippians chapter 3 and verses 13. This is the attitude that Paul had. He said, Brethren, I do not count myself to have been comprehended. But one thing I do, forgetting the things that are missing. Tell your neighbor, forget. Regardless of what happened yesterday, it is now behind you. Forget it. Isaiah says, Remember not the former things. Remember not the things of the Do not forget, forget the things of the Forget those things that are behind you. 
said I forget them and I reach forward those things which are ahead how do you reach forward to those things which are ahead look what is between you in attitude of thanksgiving in attitude of faith Faith is an attitude of faith. Oh, so you reach forward. Oh, the things that are ahead. No, Wherever you are right now, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to reach out by faith. The things that are ahead of you. Why were you to be a man of some of you it is a great minister. Some of you is a great man. Some of you is a graduate. Some of you is the blessing of God. Some of you is some money. Someone reach out. Why do I know what I Father, I thank you for the money. I thank you for the happy life. I thank you for the power. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your future. I thank you for your destiny. I thank you for To the goal, to the goal for the prize. The upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Oh, God, 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 God,
I am my wife shall have made 25 years. <laughs> When we did our wedding, we talked about the Nagaya Fair. At five o'clock, it was a glorious evening. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hey. God has been faithful. Yeah. 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 Are you guys going to celebrate without this? No, we shall postpone it until we return. That one is between us. Hallelujah. We are going to give thanks to God. In the holy of holies. 